All right, ladies and gentlemen, got a couple of updates regarding a new GPU from AMD. Microsoft releasing a typical broken update for Windows because as if that is not always a thing. Got an update regarding the new Blackwell GPUs from Nvidia. I literally almost said Intel there. Update regarding the 9000 series of CPUs from AMD. And I do also want to talk about what I mentioned the other day regarding the Puget or Puget or Puget or however you want to pronounce the name, the article that was posted online about AMD having a higher failure rate than Intel. There is a reason that I want to talk about that because it really just baffles me. Uh, but anyways, another update regarding Final Fantasy being pretty close to a release on PC. I know that this isn't the typical thing that I cover in tech news, but I did thought I I did thought I did think that it would fit this video. So I wanted to share it with you. So this right here, AMD possibly launching an entry level Radeon RX 7400 and RX 7300 quote unquote RDNA 3 GPUs pretty soon. So right here. And if we come down here, we got the little tweet and it says, according to the information, new GPU PCIe IDs have been spotted by Kamachi, which is labeled as whatever that is and based on the navi 33 sku these new navi 33 skus likely belong to the entry tier products such as the rumored radeon rx 7400 and the rx 7300 graphics cards while rdna2 line while the rdna2 lineup already has entry level cards like the amd radeon rx 6500 xt and the rx 6400 the rdna3 lineup may also end up adding another x300 series okay so all of this stuff and then we can't see the x300 somewhere between 100 and 130 dollars assuming amd has launches the rx 7500 or 7500 xt card later on down the road so here we go we got the rx 7000 series 7900 xt and all of this kind of stuff but the rx 7300 on the other hand is most likely going to see an identical memory configuration but a significant cut in shaders since they are going to be or since they are going to be lower end SKUs than the 7600 and we'll have to see no dude I don't why would somebody buy that though real quick just wanted to say that if you would like a PC from me my Facebook business page is linked down in the description below I do not charge you anything other than the cost of parts which I do in fact give you a full list of everything with the final cost before I order it all with my own money you do not pay me anything until you see the video the performance the benchmarks and all of that kind of stuff so again link down in the description below the integrated graphics with AMD is basically at this point uh 1660 like a GTX 1660 and that's pretty much on par with a 7600 uh so I just don't I don't see anybody buying that having an enjoyable experience. So next up is Microsoft update warning to 70% of all Windows users. <laughs> For the past six years, without any updates, you uh, you're you, you may want to uh, whatever update your computer. So anyway, Supermicro CEO blows the lid off of Nvidia's latest Blackwell AI GPUs that have been delayed. So the reason that I'm guessing that a lot of this is happening is because of the new types of memory that is going to be in these 50 series of GPUs. Because I'm fully aware that whatever, Samsung's GDDR7. So if, if we come up to Google, the, the 50 series is being delayed further into 2025 than people were expecting. Alrighty, my friend. So now prices here for the AMD Ryzen 9000 series. And I also want to talk about whatever um, the the video we made the other day going over. So this is the specs and uh, all that kind of stuff, because I know that a lot of you are going to tell me I'm about to get off topic here. I was covering the news. I clearly stated at the beginning of that video, if you want to believe this, you can believe this, but I do not think that this is accurate. I also then stated probably five or 10 minutes later into that video that I was going to be upgrading to the new 9000 series of CPUs from AMD and that we are going to be doing some computer builds with those new CPUs. I am not against AMD, but it blows me away it blows me away that the slightest tiniest teeniest weeniest whatever you want to call a micro statement negative about amd 
Oh boy, are you in for a rude awakening and you just barely started World War III. It is outrageous. It is beyond, it is beyond belief. I titled the video exactly what we were covering an article talking about AMD having a higher failure rate than Intel. What do you expect me to title the video when that is literally what we are talking about? <laughs> but then all the AMD, oh, I'm so mad and angry that you just made a video. It is your fault that you are saying this and you are a liar and you have investments with Intel and I hate your voice and you are so autistic and you need to eat a burger and you need to brush your teeth. Dude, like, what do you mean? You like, you like, you act as if I'm like some, like, I'm like the most meanest derogatory negative prick on the planet. When all I said, or I didn't even say it, when all I did was cover an article literally talking about AMD failure rate. And it just like, dude, it, oh my God, it just does not like, so <laughs> it just, <laughs> and that, so like, everyone's going to be like, well, then just stop covering AMD. Dude, I'm going to be honest. I find it pretty funny. I think it's hilarious. I find it cool. And to be completely honest, those are the types of people I don't want on my channel. So because I'm fully aware that there are people that are going to be interested in that that are watching my content. Like I don't want to I don't want to make the same video every single time, man. Like I don't want to title the video RTX 5090 this, RTX 5090 that, RTX 5090 this. RTX 5090 that, RTX 50, 50, 50, 50, NVIDIA, 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 GPU, GPU, GPU. And then like, I don't want to fall into the trap that somebody that I actually really enjoy and I, I think he's a very nice person is Daniel Owen. He fell into the trap of, of having a video go viral and consistently creating other videos that have that same title. And like now every single video that he uploads, GPU news, GPU news, GPU news, GPU update, GPU update. And I'm like, dude, so like I used to watch his content pretty religiously. I don't watch him anymore. And it's because it's the same thing every single time. And I don't want to fall into that trap, dude. I want to build a community. And the reason that I am explaining this is because when I cover something on online literally a news article posting about the Puget or Puget or however you want to pronounce it there Mr. Pronunciation Warrior about to correct me um, <laughs> um <laughs> but uh whatever covering that and then like, I get a bunch of people attacking me and leaving a bunch of negative comments and like whatever I just ban them I just ban them and it's like, okay, now they're gone and now they can't comment. Oh, they, they actually know they can comment. But the thing is, is nobody's ever going to see it. I actually really like that feature from YouTube. It's like one of the good features that they've offered. Like, how about we just let these idiots leave stupid comments, but they don't realize they're actually not leaving the comment. It's kind of like what happened with the Mr. Beast video the other day <laughs> where, <he's, laughs> where, he's, where he has a bunch of like banned words or he just hides the users. And now they can, they're like, for the rest of their life, they can't um, comment on any of his videos. So NVIDIA, app, I'm sure that most of you are aware. So NVIDIA app gets display settings for RTX video super resolution controls. And this is the new control panel. For those of you that are unaware, NVIDIA has a new control panel that you can download and install. But uh, that's really all I need to cover about that. So this right here, Final Fantasy, just be could be closer to a release on PC. I'm actually very excited for this game. I grew up with the Super Nintendo, and I grew up with the Sega Genesis, and I grew up, dude, like Chrono Trigger, Secret of Mana, Final Fantasy games, uh, Super Mario. I know a lot of people are just like Super Mario RPG wasn't. It was, it was more like a fun game. It wasn't really an RPG game. Uh. Yeah, those were honestly the biggest ones for Zelda. I never, dude, I couldn't. So the thing is, is like when I was a kid, you know, I really want to start making videos like this. I really do because like I love, I absolutely love watching content that brings back a similar memory to me. And I actually watched a video, what it was like gaming in the nineties the other day. And it was just like us. It was it, my entire, I, I just couldn't. I really have been having terrible Joe Biden mouth lately. I just like that nostalgic, like feeling 
that I got like watching that dude. I was just like, oh, yo, I remember that. I used to do that too. And like when I was a kid, bro, like these games on the Super Nintendo, we didn't have Google how to beat this guy or how to how to how to how to find this guy. What I had to do. I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that a lot of you found this hack as well when you were little. So what I would do is my mom, when she would take me grocery shopping, I would just go to the, the magazine aisle and oh boy, Nintendo power. My grocery store had Nintendo powers and I'd be sitting there. Oh my God, this game's going to come out. And oh, that's how you get that fucking thing. <laughs> And it's like now that dude now you're just like you're like here fuck this boss bro like fuck this guy you're like bound in your controller and you just come over here google how to beat this guy and poof in a few seconds you now are able to beat this guy whereas dude i had to like sit on my ass like freaking hours like trying to figure out how to beat this fucking thing and then and <laughs> And then I would start pounding my controller and being all pissed off. And then the rest of my night, all I would be doing is thinking like, how the fuck can I beat that thing? <laughs> and then, <laughs> and then, <laughs> and then I like go to school and I'd have to ask all my friends that also had a Super Nintendo how to do it. And if they didn't know how to do it, I like have to beg my mom, please, can we go to the grocery store? I need to figure out how to beat this guy. <laughs> <laughs> that's the funniest thing ever i'm gonna go ahead and end the video uh but let me dude i really do i want to start making videos on that kind of shit because when i watched that video i just brought a smile to my face <laughs> it was like the whole time i'm like yo i used to do that too bro <laughs> but uh, i'm gonna go ahead and end the video <laughs> my cheeks fucking hurt bro <laughs> but, uh, hope you guys enjoyed it catch you guys in the next one peace